guys it's Alyssa and I am back with another video in this video I will be teaching you guys three different ways to make your own cash envelopes if you do not have a laminating machine so I have here three really quick and easy envelopes that you can make on your own using just items that you probably will have around the house so without any further ado let's get into the first envelope tutorial okay so the first thing I'm gonna teach you guys how to do is just using a regular plain envelope and this is what I started out doing um, not what I'm gonna teach you guys but um, I started out just with something like this and it's super easy just to kind of Okay, so this is just a post-it that I folded in half. And let me make sure it's like... that looks centered to me you could measure it if you want but I'm just not that picky about it and I'm just gonna start kind of making like flowers off of it Okay, so I am not an expert by any means at drawing at all, but basically you just peel off the post-it at that point and you have a really nice like negative space in between. And that's where you can write the name of your envelope. So this one I just labeled fun and then on the back of the envelope you can always start like a sinking fund tracker. So right on there just the date and the amount and you know this is so affordable and everything that when this is all full you can just recycle it and make another one um, but you know if you want to just make this reusable you could just do what I do and stick a um, an index card in in the envelope where you track um, what's inside but so that is option number one Option number two is a little bit fancier. This is just from Hobby Lobby. It's like a craft paper envelope. And on here, um, what I would do personally is take some washi tape. And I have tons of washi tape from various activities. And crafts and whatnot. I'm just gonna take a couple rolls that I feel like go together and I'm gonna start placing them on the envelope. It's 
it's totally up to you if you want to like leave any space in between the lines, but I'm just going to make it flush. I got this washi tape um, a number of years ago at Hobby Lobby, so I don't think they make it anymore, any of these rolls, but they basically have the exact same thing, like, at all times at Hobby Lobby, so if you go there, you can totally pick some up. And I'm just leaving space there so that I can write... the name of the envelope. And if you want a tutorial on how I do writing like this, there is an older video on my channel um, where I showed you guys how I do that and I will go ahead and link that down below. But I'm just going to kind of repeat the pattern. Okay, so that is the fully covered envelope. And I'm just going to peel it off of my desk here and cut the excess. So I just take a pair of scissors and cut as close to the edge as possible. And this is easier to do if you flip it. All of these just go in the trash. Okay, so that is how this one looks when it's all done. Okay, so for this last type of envelope, all you really need is a piece of scrapbook paper. Um, it would be better if it was a thicker scrapbook paper. This is kind of thin because that's what I use for my laminated envelopes, but this one's not going to be laminated, of course, so it's nice to have one that's a bit thicker but that's okay, this will do. Um, so at this point, you just wanna decide if you want your envelope to open from the front or from the top like mine do. So how mine open here on the like long side or if you want them to be open on the short side. It's totally personal preference. I think either way, your money doesn't fall out so there's not a security issue there. But you're just going to fold the piece of scrapbook paper in half. And then you can either measure or if you're like me and you're kind of lazy, <laughs> you could just lay down a dollar bill. But I'm going to try just for demonstrations purposes just to eyeball it for you guys. And I am just going to use scissors because I can't find my little straight cutter. But I will link one down below. And that's what I usually use. That's what I used in the first tutorial that I did for you guys. Uh, but this paper has like lines on it. So hopefully that will make it easier. And I think probably about to this line will be plenty long enough. So I'm just going to cut... A straight line down this way now that I'm looking at it it's probably not long enough for a dollar but that's okay we're just gonna I'm just making it for demonstration purposes and then you'll cut the height of the dollar that you want okay. 
Okay. So this is your, what will be your envelope. And then I have a roll of washi tape. So you just want to take a roll that is the same length as your paper. I'm just gonna cut it so that it's nice and neat. And then you want to place it so it's halfway on the paper and halfway off. So this is just gonna be some tape that basically closes your envelope. So now that it's stuck on that side, I'm gonna trim the excess. So, and then we're just gonna flip it over and press it down on that side. So I think that's super cute, especially because this is a little sheer, so you can still see the um, the paper that's underneath. And we're just gonna repeat it on this side. flip it over and then tape so there is an envelope I'm just gonna take it one step further and put some washi around the top and I feel like this is gonna take a little bit of extra effort but it should be worth it you want to open your envelope a little bit so you're not sealing it shut and then fold the tape inside so that is the finished product but I'll repeat it on the other side Slightly open and fold in. Perfect. So, and then from there, you can just write the name of the envelope on the front. So, let's put this one as gas. And this paper, I guess, does not really like the, the Crayola Super Tips. So let's see if, uh, so I'm gonna kind of go over it with a Sharpie pen. So that is the finished envelope. Like I said, it would be more sturdy if you had 
thicker paper, um, but that is actually really easy to find. It's harder to find this thinner paper that I like to use for my laminate envelopes. This size is really great to fit into wallets, so it's really hard to take something like this with you on the go. So that's why I like these handmade envelopes, and this is just a really easy way to get started if you don't want to invest in a laminator. So that is it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for those of you that want to get started with cash envelopes, but either don't wanna spend the money on handmade envelopes like on Etsy, or don't wanna spend money on um, a laminating machine. So hopefully you'll be able to make your own cash envelopes with items you have around the house or things that just cost a couple of dollars. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean a lot to me if you did. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye. Ooh,